This is the standard atomic notation. The mass number is here, and the atomic number is here. It's rather simple. This is the Bohr-Rutherford diagram. The, uh, the protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus, which is here, and the electrons orbit around the energy levels, which are around here. You know all these things. To uh, determine the numbers of each, we need to use the pen strategy, which I'm going to do right now. The pen strategy works as shown, really. Um, the uh, protons are equal to the atomic number, well, more of the electrons, which the electrons are equal to the protons, because, you know, they kind of just balance out and all that. So we have 12 electrons and 12 protons, which then goes inside of the Bohr-Rutherford diagram. Yay! Then to get the neutrons, we need to minus the mass number by the uh, atomic number. So therefore, 12 minus, or well, 24 minus 12 equals 12, which then goes there. Now, we, um, after we have pen and all that, we need to fill in the electrons on the various energy levels. So therefore, we take the protons and we just start adding protons. They are added like this. You know, you have one there, you have one there. And then add the next one, so it goes in this order. This, 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 and this. Now, so far we have 10, so you know, this is why the next valence electron, well, th this is going to be the valence electron field, whatever it is. So we add one here, because there's two left, and then, you know, another here. And there we have a completed uh, Bohr-Rutherford diagram. You know, the valence electrons are farthest away from the nucleus. Um, and overall, this is basically it. When drawing the um, electron dot diagram, it you know works the same as the electrons on um, the Bohr-Rutherford diagram, really. You know, you need to do it in the same order, and this is basically all the valence electrons. So therefore, there would be one here. The one here. There's basically an invisible shell right around this sim symbol for magnesium. So therefore, that's basically what you do. Um, if you do it any other way, then it might be it might be considered incorrect. Probably, I'd say. Like for an example, th this can be as an example. So this would be an incorrect way of doing it. Possibly, would maybe just doing like this or something. They they might consider that incorrect. Possibly. So we are not going to do that. Instead, we shall do this. Right. This small little slideshow was made by Douglas Nadrovsky, by the way, just because, you know, you want it here.